Hi guys, welcome to Jump. This is your host, Rebecca, and I hope you're having an amazing holiday. Tomorrow is Christmas. I'm back here. It's been a crazy season for me, but you guys have been deeply in my heart. I've been thinking about you guys, and we have so many good new things uh, in store for this new year. Uh, as a show today, I want to bring you to the best of 2019. I want to bring you back to the words that actually did change my life. I want to bring you back to remember why we do what you do the way that we do what do we do. So with that in mind, I want you to buckle up your seatbelt and let's go back to what happened 2019. Jump, you're ready now. Jump. Okay, so the very first episode of 2019, January 22nd, uh, I was just sharing with you guys about connecting towards our dreams and connecting with others. I think there was something that was a gap uh, that our hearts really were craving, and uh, and I wanted you us to remember that. So let's go and listen to what was said. When you feel absolute disconnected, holding unforgiveness, and the feeling that you have no one in life. It's such a lie because you have not been asking the right questions. And if you don't really have that close friends around you, it is time to look for people that you see that their heart condition is clean, that they're good people, and ask them to have time where you can connect. And not only that, you invested the time to encourage them and that will come back to you. It's almost like going out for a dinner and just not to be waiting to be served. It's like going out for a dinner and you also served first. So I think that really brought us into just the power of serving each other. And then straight from having this episode about connecting with others and serving others was my friend Milan, and he comes and talks about generosity and the little box of means, and that totally rocked my world. One thing I challenge the leaders is is, um, be a person known for your generosity. Be a person known for being unselfish and big hearted and, and just a very simple, practical way. How can you live that out? Well, one way is how can I be a blessing to someone else? You could just ask yourself that every day. And that helps to guide you into more of an open handed approach to life. What can I do today to be a blessing to someone? else? Ah, Milan, that was great. Then right after Milan, we have Hannah Wallet. And she comes and talks about, uh, I was asking her about how do you have a balanced life doing everything that you do. And then she gives the image of riding a bicycle. And here's what she says. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, we'll start with balance. And I call balance the B word. (laughs) Balance is the B word because, and this is going to be my personal opinion here. So for anyone listening, take it or leave it. But I think balance is a myth. I think it's a total myth. I think there is no such thing as the perfect balance. And um, so I function out of really two philosophies. Number one, I had a mentor in my life years and years ago tell me, Hannah, um, if you're going to do, you know, say yes to all God's putting in front of you, you need to learn to, to ride a bike. It's like riding a bike to where you're leaning. Don't try to balance, find this perfect um, magical equation that fits every season, every day. You're going to have to daily lean, like when you're learning to ride a bike, so that you stay up on that bicycle. So if the bicycle represents everything that makes up your current current world, for me, it is I'm a woman, like I am who I am alone, individually before the Lord. I'm a wife. I'm a mom. I lead. I serve on teams. I volunteer. I travel. I speak. I write. I communicate. There's a lot. And then I have my home. You know, I have just the management of my home. Friends. I'm a wife. I'm a, I'm a daughter. 
I'm a sister. I'm also a friend. So you have all this, which I think makes up most of the women of 2019. That is my bicycle. Then after this amazing interview with Hannah, we had my friend Juliana Nevis, which to me, that interview changed me in so many areas. And I'm so proud to call you friend, Juliana. But she had so much wise, business, sharp advice. And I think after that interview, I really had to taught out about my discipline as a business person. And I love when she said, ask God for every single thing. And I love when she said that she surround herself with people. She hires people that is better than her. And I took that to the heart. And I was like, I'm going to find artists that are better than me to work with me. And I just want to say that was a mind blowing time for me to have Julian in the podcast fulfill the purpose. And it's always like going back and, Hey God, how, how would you like for me to handle this? How can I approach this situation? Because we are impacting so many lives. And I just think that, you know, just, just having that, um, just focus of how can I impact, how can I make it better? It really makes our business. Um, there's no Monday, there's no Sunday, there's no Saturday, Tuesday, every day is the same, which is a blessing. So I don't see like Monday. Oh my gosh, it's a Monday. No, it's, it's, it's just another day that <laughs> we get to work. I always like to hire people who are better than me because otherwise we don't grow, you know, like I, I just grow from them. And of course there is my guidance as a leader, but if you have, more intelligent people around you, you will grow tremendously. So after I did that, after I had this amazing conversation with Juliana, we ended up, I ended up traveling to Dreamtopia in California and I met Kathy Heller and I met Jeff Goins for the very first time. And they are my mentors of all times. And that's when I was able to, to just drop a little bit of the, the things that I learned at the Dreamtopia. One thing I do have to say is above all the teaching and, and spoke and speakers that was there, the thing that was the most glorious gift that I received in 2019 was actually the friendship and connection that I had with Ali, Alidia, Rebecca, and Laura. And that was the three women that from Colorado that we went to drink to be from Colorado. They have become my sister and my cheerleaders in the business, and we mastermind, that actually was the most amazing thing that I received from Dreamtopia, above all the teachings. But that was when I had to confront myself with, what is the things that are holding you back in your mind that stops you from moving forward? That's when I had to have a, like, a drop the mic moment about... What are the fears that I had? And one of the fears was definitely my accent. And then the media, because everyone in that workshop had a thousand ideas. They were so creative. And I felt like, oh, my gosh, this is my people. And everybody's just like me. But that was the moment that I had. It's like, it doesn't matter the media that you're going to use. Let's listen to that. Do you know that is the when like when she said what is the one fear like I'm pretty bold but what was one fear that I have to me was my lack of speaking correctly and mm -hmm. you know the things that we feel like it's cursed over us for some weird reason is actually what makes our different mm -hmm. you know, and people that will listen to a podcast that is not quite like mine it's okay it's not the thing is not everybody is gonna like me you know not everybody's gonna be okay with my accent but that's okay but there's few people that will love it and they will be like that girl is so happy and genuine and i'll listen to her and, and the guy asked i like to paint oils and i like to do this and i like to do this but i'm not sure what to pursue what do i do what did he say he said it's not the pencil that makes the artist. Which means to say, doesn't matter what you paint. Doesn't matter how you paint. If you use oils or acrylics, what matters is how sincere you are. Oh, wow. It's the message that you have to share through your art. Right. And that to me was like mind blowing because I'm like, you're right. It's not the media that you're using. 
It's not how it's 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 that you are sincere to say this is what I want to share with the world, regardless of whatever whatever platform you use to do it. <clears throat> is that what you mean? Yes. Wow. So after that amazing trip to California, I had in the podcast someone I just met through Facebook from my husband's hometown. She was in Omaha, Nebraska. She still is. And she is the author of the book, Remember Us. She and her friend wrote the book together. And it's a book about family and relationships that are broke and restored. And I'm so curious about connecting with people and others that I brought Lindsay to talk about that. And, and it was an amazing time I had with her and here's some really valuable times and valuable chips that she shared with you know I I would be so back when I was a lot younger I'd be so quick to give advice um, because I thought I knew it all Um, I have learned the complexities of personalities and relationships and I definitely have positivity in my top five strengths. So for me to get on here and tell someone who maybe struggles more with feeling, you know, accepted or whatnot um, feels hard. But I would just say press in, you know, don't isolate yourself. Really um, find those people who are going to care for you at your worst, because I will tell you what, um, I am not always awesome to be around. You know, I have my moments, but it's those girls who are going to stick it out and still love me, love me through my crap, if you will. Um, Those are the ones that you want to hold on to. And so it can be easy, you know, to want to tense up when it gets hard, but it's okay to, to be mad. You know, I always tell Carson, like, your feelings of anger are okay. It's what we do with those. You know, are we going to hit Are we going to pull ourselves away Um, or are we going to allow ourselves to feel that and then jump back in the relationship? Okay. So then we have Goose in the podcast, Goose Obarka, and he talks about how like win the morning and get the mole, get the mole, which is get the motivation, get it going. And I love having, I just love talking to him. Win the morning. So you can win the day. What? Uh, I never heard that. So that one is by, uh, by Tim Ferriss. Um, he's, he's a very uh, good motivator. Uh, yes, I know. Him. Talker out there. Yeah. Win and, the uh, morning. Win the oh, morning yeah. and, then, and then what? Win the morning so you can win the day. Right? It's all about winning the day. Uh, so and I totally agree with that. When I get up in the morning, I want to be able to execute my, my task. And that just builds momentum, right? Right. And, uh, and so for me, uh, I have a little quote that I go by. <laughs> and uh, my little thing is, get that mo. Right? Translate mo- for Rebecca. Translate for me. Get Is that a language from Louisiana here that I'm missing? I guess you can say that. Uh, so get that MO. A MO stands for motivation, huh. momentum, motion, money. What? It's get that MO, MO, right? Get that MO. Get that that MO. Great. It's not enough to just be here, you guys. We've got to say, how can I make the most of the time that I have? And because we, I met Kelly Abanda in California at the Drink Topic Workshop, having her in a podcast, she was so eloquent and she speaks so much out of her own life and passion that I am still craving her podcast. So Kelly, your interview was unbelievable for my own heart. It's the time where we just say, I cannot do this because I don't have that, or I cannot do that because I don't have that. Kelly was able to speak so clear about there's no excuse for us. To have a nice vacation, and it's so not true. There's a thousand resources these days where you can find great deals and you can travel with your family even. I met people who were doing something similar to me, but with a family. Um, So they were homeschooling their kids while they were traveling. And so the thing is that we sometimes look at other people doing it 
And we disqualify us from having the same experience because we say, oh, well, I don't have X, Y, or Z that that person has. But the reality is if you knew their whole story, there's probably not much difference between you and them. And so whatever it is, if it's traveling, if it's changing your career, if it's um, bringing in a new relationship or getting rid of bad relationships, whatever it is that you know you want to shift, getting at the excuses and pulling them out is such a key realize that you are worth that life you want to live, that you have what it takes to make it happen. You can do it. You can do it. I've always told myself as far as my life, uh, you've got to see it before you see it or you'll never see it. If you want it, you better do it now. Guys, then you meet the Wilsons. They were visionaries. There is nothing more than fills my soul with life than to just be around visionaries. They were exactly that. They were doing so many things just like me, but their visions were so big that truly inspire me is like, who is the people around you? If they are dreaming, they're having visions, who they are. So the Wilsons, come on, listen to this. Our children, and create my a children, platform children. for them, our children, yeah. children, just to kind of uh, show them that I love that other way as opposed to nine to five. I mean, there's other way, other avenues to express yourself and to live. So it's all about legacy. And that you have gifts and that they make room for you. And you can't just, you know, leave them dormant and not use them because they may be the way that you're, you know, financial freedom, your happiness, yeah. open doors you never see. You know, I often wonder, like, will I get an opportunity to, like, you know, meet queens and kings? And, you know, I'm an only child, so I have this super huge animated mind and, and this big dreamer, you know, uh, world that I live in. You know, I wish we could show people our vision board that we have on our wall. It's it's gigantic. <laughs> I mean, we took like a 16 by 24 frame. <laughs> we got Grammys in there. We got Oscars. In oh, there. come on, girl. That's amazing. We got cars. Trust me, we got good wow. health because you got to be healthy. You got to be well mentally yeah. and physically yeah. to do all these things that you want to do. You get around people who are creative, you will start creating. As far as with creativity, I don't believe creativity is a feeling. You know, I don't have to feel creative. Creativity is actually inside of me. I get to access whatever you I wanted. Oh, Elliot, you brought the house down. When you're talking about creativity, that was it, guys. That was tremendous. Elliot came from living in an orphanage to come to America and today actually living a life of creative living, creativity life. So he shared about his journey about creativity. going to be creative, you know, because I didn't understand what creativity is. I started dating Sarah and uh, Sarah is this woman who plays multiple instruments, paints, like she's like has this relationship with creativity and she speaks about creativity as a person. And I'm like, what are you talking about? You know? And, um, and me and her, as I started dating, I was like, I, I want to discover what is she talking about? What is she talking about, about this creative world, this creativity? And I realized that creativity is part of my inheritance because God is creator, you know, and, um, you know, how it started for me, she gave me a, a book, a poetry book, and in one setting, I read, I read the whole book, and I literally felt that I can only describe it, uh, uh, you know, um, is that I felt the presence of creativity, you know, and I knew that I can actually write something right now in that moment creative, you know? And, and I wrote my first poetry, you know? And I sent it to Sarah and she's like, oh my gosh, this is actually really excellent, you know? Mm -hmm. And from there on, it never stopped. One thing that I realized in my journey with creativity is that 
you get around people who are creative, you will start creating. You know, because I believe, you know, me and Sarah, uh, we have uh, 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 a poetry uh, that we post, our poetry, our uh, creative ideas and different things like that. And um, Sarah uh, had this encounter with her best friend where uh, she misspelled genius, you know, and her friend was making fun of her and she, and she heard herself saying that, well, genius isn't spelled correctly. And I realized, and as we start going on this journey, um, we start go, we realize that gene, that every person has genius inside of them. Okay. And, um, uh, and sometimes what we think genius is, is, is actually, uh, um, some, it's actually just a blanket statement that we think that fit in the box, but there's m- many more geniuses you know, in different shapes and sizes and, uh, Oh my goodness. Then we had this amazing interview with Jovan after Elliot dropped the mic with all the creativity. We had Jovan talking about the legacy of writing a book, what is important. And the highlight for me is when she said, Hey, no one can do this alone. Because we are our idea people. We're always bouncing people. We need those that says, keep going. We need the people around us that say, hey, keep moving, keep going, because we cannot make it just everything alone on our own. So Jovan, um podcast interview was helpful because I felt like was educated. It helped us guide it for those that wants to write books, but also was very much guided words that she had to share with us i would love to bring her back to another uh podcast this number one of course that you have the support that you need so that you're not feeling like you're alone so that you can deal with the rejection because we are idea people we come up with 150 million ideas a day i don't know i exaggerate but you know we are so but all of those ideas don't go they don't get accepted. They, don't, you know, and we just need a community to hear, to be with, to hear that you are awesome. You can do it. Continue. Keep going. Guys, come on. Who is writing a book? You need Jovan in your life. You need someone that have the knowledge, the professional aspect that can say, yes, you can do this. All right. So I want to end this podcast with Catherine Peters. Oh my gosh, what a kind woman. Katrin, you're amazing. I learned that people will forget what you said. People will forget what you did. But people will never forget how you made them feel. Oh, gosh. And I, I love that one because I can be, in my, in my perfectionism, I can get all wrapped up in saying the right thing. And this reminds me that it isn't about the words, Kathleen. It's about how you make people feel. Um, And it's just sort of become who I am, that I want people to feel seen. Because when I feel seen, it changes everything. When I feel seen, it changes everything. And this is how I want to end this podcast, this last podcast for 2019 is to say that I, you have been seeing, I have been seeing you and having you, our listeners, in my heart. And I just wanted to encourage you that the things that are coming up for 2020 are double, double joy, joy, excitement things. And I can't wait to share more things with you. I just want to say again, Merry Christmas. Have an amazing um, jumping into the first of 2020. You can do this. You can do the art. You can write the book. You can journey into creativity. You can journey into connecting with others. You can journey into healing your own heart. You can journey into the place where you need to be for 2020 together we're gonna do this i want to encourage you to send me some messages what you want from from us who do you want to hear more and what kind of shows that you want me to bring it to you 
I'm open. I want to share. I already have two amazing interviews already done for 2020. Uh, they are one is amazing businesswoman that have win win, and another one is an amazing writer and artist that is making it happen. This is all coming up 2020. I want to say thank you for being just my friend and showing up. Whatever you are, if you are in Africa, if you are in Germany or any place in the planet. I hope that you live the life of your dreams, and I pray that you jump into your dreams. I love you guys so much. Happy 2020. Happy 2020. Drop your